The skies above the Indian subcontinent are witnessing a fierce rivalry as India and Pakistan unveil their latest supersonic fighter jet offerings, the Tejas Mark 1A and the JF-17 Block 3. These aircraft are not only vying for regional air supremacy, but also jogging for a slice of the global market for cost-effective combat jets. The Indian Air Force is set to receive the upgrade version of the indigenous supersonic fighter aircraft, the Tejas Mark 1A, by July. Meanwhile, in December 2023, the Pakistan Air Force marked a significant milestone by officially incorporating the latest version of the JF-17 Thunder Block 3. The Tejas is a homegrown novel forged through the collaborative efforts of India's Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Across the border, the JF-17 is the product of a Sino-Pakistani partnership between the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and China's Chengdu Aircraft Industry Complex. The Mark 1A is an advanced version of its predecessor, the Mark 1, and is classified as a 4.5 generation aircraft. In contrast, the JF-17 Block 3 is described by PAF officials as a 4th generation plus fighter jet, offering several enhanced capabilities over the earlier Block 2 version. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. Both fighters are designed for similar military missions and requirements, positioning them to compete in the global market for budget-friendly combat aircraft. Both India's LCA Tejas and Pakistan's JF-17 Block 3 are single-engine, lightweight, multi-role fighters. Conceived as 4.5 generation jets, the Tejas and JF-17 Block 3 were tasked with replacing the nation's aging third generation fighter fleets, the vulnerable MiG-21 for India, and a motley crew of Chinese and French jets for Pakistan. Flight tests have shown promising results for both aircraft. The LCA Tejas Mark 1A successfully conducted its first test flight on 28 March 2024. On the other hand, the JF-17 Block 3, a single-seat variant, completed its inaugural flight in Chengdu, China on 15 December 2019. The Pakistan Air Force has acquired an impressive fleet of 50 JF-17 Block 3 aircraft, with the first one joining the ranks on 4 December 2023. Mass production began at the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex Kamra on 30 December 2020. HAL has modernized the aircraft by incorporating advanced technology and making slight design adjustments, resulting in nearly a 50% increase in indigenous content compared to its predecessor Mark 1. The Mark 1A demonstrates versatility, fulfilling various roles such as ground attack, interception, air-to-air -air combat, and air defense. Despite its external resemblance to Mark 1, the Mark 1A features new electronics, processors, display systems and fly-by-wire hardware. The updated version offers improved situational awareness with a slightly larger canopy and aerodynamic changes enhancing maneuverability. It boasts approximately 9 hard points on its underbelly, capable of carrying a variety of weaponry including beyond visual range missiles, air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, and advanced short-range air-to-air missiles. External self-production jammer pods enable the aircraft to engage in electronic warfare. Additionally, an indigenously developed digital fly-by-wire flight control computer has been integrated into the Tejas jet, replacing mechanical flight controls with an electronic interface. On the other hand, according to the Pakistan Air Force, the JF-17 Block 3 aircraft offers superior maneuverability, extended range, and enhanced combat capabilities. It features a single-seat variant and incorporates advanced technological developments, including the KIJ-7A IZA radar. This radar, developed by the Nanjing Research Institute of Electronic Technology, can track 15 targets simultaneously and engage four targets at once. Besides Pakistan, Nigeria and Myanmar have already acquired the JF-17 Thunders, and Azerbaijan has finalized the deal to buy them. There are reports that Iraq could also buy these Sino-Pakistani jets. For LCA Tejas, the Indian Air Force remains its primary and biggest customer. Despite serious negotiations with Malaysia and Argentina, no export orders have been received yet. On 12th March 2024, an Indian Air Force LCA Tejas crashed for the first time since its debut in 2001. The crash occurred near Jaisalmer while returning from the Bharat Chakti exercise in Pokhran, Rajasthan. The pilot ejected safely and there were no casualties despite the aircraft damaging a hostel. In contrast, since its first flight in 2003, 
The JF-17 has crashed four times, resulting in at least one death. According to the Flight Safety Foundation's Aviation Safety Network, JF-17 crashes occurred in November 2011, September 2016, September 2020 and August 2021. An Indian official associated with the development of the aircraft said, Tejas is a more capable, maneuverable, agile and reliable aircraft than the JF-17. The Chinese JF-17 was initially powered by a Russian RD-93 engine. Beijing found the JF-17 unsuitable for induction. The JF-17 was jointly developed by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and China's Chengdu Aircraft Industry Corporation. It has a Chinese airframe, Western avionics and a Russian engine. The aircraft has been grounded several times due to cracks in guide vanes, exhaust nozzles and flame stabilizers. The LCS scores over JF-17 when it comes to serviceability. In the IAF squadron, the LCA has a serviceability of over 75%. Another parameter that sets LCA one notch up the JF-17 is the fly-by-wire system. The JF-17 has a triplex redundant fly-by-wire system and the LCA has a quadruplex redundant architecture. Myanmar, the first country besides Pakistan to buy JF-17, was forced to ground its fleet due to technical malfunctions. Reports suggest the reason behind the grounding in Myanmar was that the airframe of JF-17 reported vibration issues. The critical part of the JF-17 avionics is the China-made KLJ-7 AI radar, which has poor accuracy and maintenance problems, analysts say. The aircraft does not even have an effective beyond visual range missile or airborne interception radar. For LCA Tejas, the entire software including the flight control loss, mission computer algorithm and weapon release solutions are designed indigenously. There are unique features in the flight control laws that allow carefree handling and recovering from unseen situations. The LCS turnaround servicing is less than 30 minutes. TRS is the time the aircraft takes to get airborne again after landing, as the plane undergoes servicing after each landing. This is because the LCA Tejas has all its services on hydraulics. The Chinese Pakistan JF-17 uses a pneumatic system to operate some utility services in main and emergency modes. This requires regular pneumatic charging, increasing turnaround servicing time. The elaborative features of both the aircraft create no doubt in anyone's mind regarding the choice of superiority of the said machines. Jai Hind!